Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Kieran Doolittle. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this is your KWHS News. Juniors and seniors, here's the lineup for scheduled college visits. Remember, you must have a pass from the Counseling Center to attend these visits. Check these out. Today, at lunch, stop by to visit with the reps from Black Hills State University in the lower comments. Tomorrow, the reps from Adams State schedule a visit with us. And then next week, on March 13th, the reps from Simpson College in Indianola, Iowa are scheduled to visit. March 13th is also the date for the International Salon and Spa Academy's Area Vocational Program Open House. The event is from 5.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. at the ISSA building at 5707 North Academy Boulevard. To enroll in this cosmetology program, your parents have to be there too. Stop by the Counseling Center for more information. Another cosmetology school, the Paul Mitchell School, will visit us at lunch in the lower commons right before spring break on March 21st. And then in April, the reps from Colorado Mesa rescheduled their visit for April 3rd. On April 10th, the reps from the Barbizon Southwest School will be here at lunch in the lower commons. And then the reps from Western Colorado University are scheduled to visit us on April 17th. If you missed any of the dates for these visits or want more information, stop by the Counseling Center or check their website. Juniors, WHS is once again hosting an SAT test prep seminar on Saturday, March 23rd. If you would like to attend, the cost of the seminar is $89.99. Juniors, you should see registration materials in the mail very soon in Seniors. You can also sign up, but you need to see Mr. Thiel in the Counseling Center to do that. Seniors, here's some news you can use. If you would like to submit your photos for the senior slideshow to be played before graduation, stop by the Counseling Center to see Miss Abeta for the Snapchat and email addresses. Remember, your photos must be school appropriate and your deadline, no fooling, is April 1st. AP students, the deadline to pay for your AP tests is next Friday, March 15th. You can pay for those tests in the business office during lunch and after school until the end of the day on March 15th. When we return from the break, we'll have some information on the purple toilet. But first, we're sending it to the sports desk for our Gladiator Sports Update with Jared Grace. It's Wednesday, Glads. I'm Jared Grace, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. NJROTC Cadets. The military ball is next week with festivities starting at 1800 hours at the Peterson Air Force Base Officers Club. Remember, this is a formal event, so the uniform of the day is formal attire. Spring sports events kicked off this week with the girls tennis meet yesterday. The ladies will be back on the course next week. We'll have more details as we get them. In swimming news, the boys will have their first meet tomorrow afternoon at 4 p.m. against Pueblo Central at the Whitefield Park and Rec Pool. The boys have been hard at work perfecting their lap time. Times. See you there. Our baseball team is traveling to Pueblo tomorrow for a game against Pueblo East at 4 p.m. We'll have scores for you next week if the game goes on as scheduled. Even though we are not in school on Friday, our ladies soccer team will be on the field at CA Foster at 4 p.m. against Montrose High School. Come out and support the lady. In forensics news, congratulations to Casey Winger and Taya Andrews who both qualified to go to nationals in world school debate. Casey and Taya will be traveling to Dallas, Texas in June for this competition. Nice going ladies. We're also extending a hearty congratulations to Mr. Elhoff who was crowned as assistant forensics coach of the year. Well deserved Mr. Elhoffer. Damon's dose of health should be back on next week, but stay tuned because plans may change. Finally, weather pending, our track and field teams will be traveling to Gary Berry Stadium on Saturday for a track meet. We wish them the best of luck and good weather. That's it for your Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Jared Grace. Now back to the news desk with Kieran and Jeremiah. Thanks for that update, Jared. Ladies, it's not too late to set up an appointment with Miss Ford or Mrs. HK to check out the dresses in Becca's closet. The military ball is about a week and a half out and prom is in April. Remember, these dresses are free and yours to keep. That's a great deal. The purple toilet is making rounds this week. All proceeds go to the Mile High Lab Mission, a group that helps rescue Labrador retrievers. If the toilet lands in your area, you must raise money to have it removed. Student cabinet will move the purple throne, so please don't attempt to move it on your and now we're heading somewhere on campus for Miss Betsy's lunch menu. Happy Wednesday, everybody! It's Wednesday. Hey, you know we have a really short week having Monday off for short weather, week and no and Friday, then, and then no Friday, no Friday for the students. Of no course. Friday lunch, no Friday lunch. So um, uh, today we're going to have hot wings that I promised you 
yesterday. But wing day. Wednesday wing. Wednesday wings wing and Wednesday. Thursday is wing barbecue it. pork sandwich. Barbecue pork what sandwich. What you got there? I got one of the new special books from our new book section here in the library. Okay, this is a field guide to North American teenager. Teachers, maybe you ought to read this. Now, uh, I was thinking, could I, would I be able to understand them, understand the kiddos today if I read that book? What do you think? Understand a teenager? Are oh, you crazy? never I must be. You're, you're getting loony. loony. You're eating too loony. many hot wings. Okay. Uh, hot wings. I'll see you at lunch. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Glads, if you need to add money to your account, please see Miss Betsy in the cafeteria or go online. Glads, check the test prep flyers in your classrooms with the dates and content for the test prep sessions happening this week. Sign up in the library for those sessions on Thursday. Opening night for the musical theater production of Little Women is tomorrow night at 7 p.m. in the WHS Auditorium. The show runs until Saturday night. Tickets are $7 for students and $10 for adults. To everyone in that musical, break a leg. Glads, we have some aspiring engineers at WHS who would love for us to see their projects at the WHS Engineering Show. Mark April 25th on your calendars for the senior project presentations where you can check out projects and activities from all the engineering classes including aerospace, civil, architectural, intro, and principles. The event will take place in the WHS Auditorium at 6 p.m. Juniors and seniors, here is some very early prom information for you. We do not know the theme yet, but you will want to save the date of April 20th. The prom is slated to be at the Doubletree World Arena from 6 p.m. to midnight. Discounted Ticket prices will be $45 per person from March 18th through the 20th. After those dates, ticket prices go up to $50 until April 16th. Keep this in mind, you will not be able to buy your tickets at the door, so get your tickets early. And remember, your ticket price includes dinner. And finally, if you are looking for some spare cash this year, check this out. The U.S. Census Bureau is looking for address canvassers in Colorado Springs. They want smart, energetic people to fill some very important positions. You must be 18 years old, have a valid social security number, and be a U.S. citizen. The hours are flexible, with no nighttime work, and you will be paid weekly. Pay starts at $16.50 an hour. Go to this website to apply online. That's all we have for you today, GLADS. I'm Kieran Doolittle. Remember, students, we don't have school on Friday, but teachers, you do have to report as scheduled. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this was your KBHS News. Have a great short week. Oh, and remember to spring forward and set your clocks ahead one hour this Saturday night.